I don't know whether to laugh, cry, or be heated about watching Jake Paul and Mike Tyson. At any point, did you start to take your foot off the gas just a little bit because you noticed he was tiring out? Yeah, definitely. Definitely a bit. You know, I wanted to give the fans a show, but I didn't want to hurt someone that didn't need to be hurt. Did you feel Mike's power at all? No. What up, words? Your boy Charles Brown back again talking facts. Hit that like button, hit that subscribe, hit the notification. Bail, keep sending those cash apps to CLBMG. I appreciate you, gang. I don't know what I just watched, but it was four hours of highs, lows, nonsense, buffoonery, foolishness, and just downright the reason I stopped watching professional boxing. This was a travesty. But the saddest part about all of this is we knew it was coming. We forgot about this. We thought that this was all in the past, that they didn't script these things anymore and that these fighters were on the up and up. There's nothing to fear. They're going to give their all. And gang, we sorely were mistaken. Let's just be honest. They've been hosing us for the last couple of years. That's why the heavyweight, lightweight, anything to do with professional boxing is in the toilet. I'm just being honest. And Jake Paul is the biggest draw in boxing. Let's just be honest. This was a disaster. But we, I got to blame myself. I already knew that Tyson was hurt coming in. They already postponed the fight. What were we expecting? See, the problem is we still believe in Iron Mike Tyson. Mike has shown us for years there's no more iron in there. He has been clear about that for at least 10 years. The iron is gone. It's just Mike. It's just a, it's just a man that almost regrets his life, but he tells it with such like fearlessness that we've grown to literally love this man for everything. Mike just said him and him and him and a guy slept with the same woman who had contracted AIDS, slept with her raw. And they both died. The woman and the man, his friend, they both died. He didn't somehow catch AIDS. These are the stories that Mike is telling that is making us go, first they blow our mind. And then we're like, wow, that's just Mike. We wanted Mike to knock Jake Paul out. This is the hero and the villain. Jake Paul is the penguin right now. And we want to see him lose so badly. We'll sit for four hours and hope it happens. The DraftKings money line was on Jake Paul. We should have known something right there. What were we thinking, us Tyson fans, going into this fight looking for the one punch? We really thought it was going to be one punch. We thought round one, this guy had a chance. Mike Tyson had a literal, he had a knee brace on, gang. Mike Tyson was in a wheelchair a few weeks ago. Mike Tyson walked out from the dressing room looking old. He looked old walking out there. Mike Tyson looked like an old man going to the bus stop. He looked like he, he didn't even know that it was a fight about to happen. He didn't look locked into me. He looked head heavy, strong. He entered the ring looking old. What were we expecting, gang? 250 million people watching this thing. The biggest draw since God knows when. He slapped Jake Paul at the weigh-in. We all thought this was real. I'm going to knock him out. No, I'm going to knock him out. I used my girl cousins Netflix to watch this fight. Many of us traded passwords, but still they made a bundle. Jake Paul reportedly got 40 mil. Mike got 20 mil. Now we're looking at that's a bag. Mike needs the money. He looked like a guy that needed the money. This fight was awful. Mike Tyson landed 18 punches. And I know he's old. Let's just be honest. Mike is old. J 
Jake Paul is 27 years old. Mike Tyson is 58. He could literally be his dad, right? Literally. Jake Paul ran for at least three to four rounds. Mike chased him, which he knew he was going to have to do. So this is what the people that really know boxing knew was going to happen. And they let this fight happen anyway. They sanctioned this fight. Someone sanctioned this fight. From the very first 30 seconds, you saw what was going to happen. This guy's going to back up. Tyson's going to unsuccessfully chase him and get tired doing so. You knew it was going eight rounds. Whether they had a knockout clause or not, and he can't knock him out, he can't knock him out. All this stuff they got, they got the fat gloves, two ounce bigger gloves, they got the two, two minute rounds, all this stuff to favor Tyson. And when you saw this guy backing up, you said, this is going to be a long fight. It's going to get awful. But you're still hoping that Mike will get this, this one punch man haymaker off or this hook on a running man that's 27 years old that doesn't even have to get tired because the rounds are two minutes. We have never been bamboozled like this. We have been bamboozled, but not like this. And for the people saying it's scripted, it wrote itself. He didn't need to write. He didn't need to script it. This guy is too old. He retired already. He came back more than once. This was clearly for the money. Jake Paul didn't need to script anything. He could have been like, listen, I'm going to just back up for a couple rounds. He's going to gas out. But it was worse than that because he couldn't even cut him off. And So what Mike Tyson, Mike Tyson does not want to fight anymore, gang. You can't tell me a man that really wants to fight doesn't know how to cut that ring off. Right? He, a man that really wants to fight doesn't know how to cut the ring off and stop him from bouncing all around. You know going in that he's going to move, so you need to wait that out. Stop chasing him around the ring. Mike knows how to fight better than this. Even at his age, he's out of condition, though. This was a money grab. He knew he wasn't in the right condition to fight this man. And we're looking at all these these um, these video footage of him shadow punching and da 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 this. We're like, Mike still got it. Well, that bag ain't moving. I'm embarrassed that I thought Mike Tyson had a chance. I saw that fight. He comes out with the knee brace on. He's staggering. He's looking like an old man going at the buffet. I said, oh, my God. And what music is he playing? What's happening right now? We should be ashamed for tuning into that fight. I thought he had some kind of chance. This looked like a man that never fought in his life. And we saw, am I bugging? Didn't George Foreman fight into his 60s? Right? Wasn't George Foreman old when he started his comeback? This is a man that has completely lost all ability to fight. Mike is a dude that went to work in the morning. Like, you know how you're just, you're really, you, you really don't want to go, right? Really, you're done. You just hate this place. You're sick of it. You don't want to shuffle these papers no more. You don't want to answer these calls no more. You don't want to do your job no more, but you got to feed your family. So you go to work, you sit at your desk, you get your coffee, try to do everything to make it. Okay, let me just sit down, put this headset on and take these, take these fucking calls. I'm, I hate this place, but I'm going to do it anyway. Mike fought like a guy that was waiting for the rounds to be over so he could hug this guy, get his paycheck, and go home to his family. Mike does not want to fight anymore. But what happened was he needed to sell the fight. Slaps Jake Paul at the weigh-in, right? It's, I'm going to kill you. I'm going to He knows how to sell a fight, gang. He's been doing it for 20-something, 30 years. So they sold a fight. They sold something that they knew. Jake Paul knew this product was going to be like this. When Mike slapped him at the way and Jake Paul's mom was like, I want to kill that bastard. It's all a act. And we fell for it again. I fell for it with Mayweather. I fell for it with De La Hoya. A couple of these fights got me worked up and I paid my $40 for the pay-per-view. And at the end of the fight, I felt dirty. I felt like, yo, why did you pay for that, Charles? You're so stupid to do this. And I think that's why they put it on Netflix because for one, Netflix, Netflix is paying big money. But for two... 
they know that the pay-per-view would have been drastically different. If people had to pay for something like this, they probably wouldn't be like, I'm just going to check out. So they put it on Netflix. So all you had to do is open up your Netflix app or your, or your cousin's Netflix and you can watch it. Bang, it's good. Tyson has zero desire, zero drive. It looked like a guy that didn't even know how to fight. Tyson landed 18 punches. Jake Paul said at the end of the fight, I didn't want to hurt him. And I'm, I'm going to, surprisingly, I respect that. I respect Jake Paul. This was a hustler's hustle. You have never seen nothing like this since, what's my guy, Don King. You have not seen, this is diabolical hustling at a level you will never see again. The cartels don't hustle like this, like this guy and that team. They knew that this was going to be awful. Now, yes, he could have got us. A, 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 he had a slugger's chance of catching Jake Paul doing some dummy stuff, like bowing at the end in the last 10 seconds. Like he just bowing to him like, you're the man. Da, da, da. That He could have swung and bang. But him not swinging tells you everything. Tyson has no animosity against this guy or anyone. Tyson is like a monk right now. Tyson don't want to fight. But guess what? All he can do to make any real bag is put them gloves back on. It's sad, gang. Tyson went on that tour across the country, the speaking engagement, and he made a lot of money doing that. But I don't think it's the money he gets from lacing them gloves up and getting in that ring. He's got to eat. But we should be embarrassed for watching that and letting him eat off of that. He's taking hits that, uh, that unnecessarily. Jake Paul is in the lose lose situation they booed him when he comes out he's on this he's in the he's in the ring he's a professional fighter and they're booing him they want to see you hit the canvas they cannot stand you but they're here why they're here for mike we have this uh, uh, obsession this abnormal love for mike tyson if he would have knocked him out or even down his career would have been non-stop barrage of hate you beat up an old man, you knocked down Mike Tyson. You had no business even fighting him. You knew you were out of, he wasn't in your class and you beat up on an old man. He knew it, I knew it, you knew it. If Tyson hits that canvas, that's the end of Tyson's legacy. Tyson's going to be fine, no matter what. Even after this debacle, we're going to love Tyson. Tyson's going to go down to history as Iron Mike Tyson. But this guy would be the villain that he, you can't live this one down. He got over the internet stuff and all this little stuff he did on, on YouTube, da, 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 being a jerk and an asshole. He lived past all that. And this is where people can still have these honest debates. Is, is Jake Paul a good fighter? Can he take all that? We could have these. If he beats up a Mike Tyson, knocks him slam clean out, goes through the ropes or something dumb, every fighter in the world is going to be gunning for him in the ring and out to try to knock his block off. And he loves the attention, but I truly believe Jake Paul wants acceptance at the end of the day. He plays that villain role superbly. He, he pretends that, yo, nothing bothers me. I'm just counting my money. I'm here for the bag. But this guy really wants the acceptance of the boxing world and the public. He didn't like being booed. I'm going to promise you. He did not expect to be booed. It's no reason to boo him. He's just another fighter. They booed him anyway. They can't stand him, right? He doesn't want that at the end of the day. You don't become a professional boxer to be hated. He doesn't want that. He can be hated on YouTube. He's making the same kind of money just doing YouTube videos. He doesn't need this. He wants it. He didn't need to become a fighter. He wanted it. He wants to be taken seriously in this. Tyson was outmatched, outclassed because he doesn't have it in him anymore. Right? I enjoyed the undercards more than the fight. The Amanda Serrano, Katie, I forgot her last name, Hudson or something like that. That was one of the best fights I've seen in a very long time. 
the Ramos Barrios fight was another good fight. I was surprised they called it a draw, but I'm like, here we go again. It clearly wasn't a draw to me. It was a close fight, but not a draw, right? The undercards were real fights with real stakes on the line. I don't know what was on the line with this fight except for money. We all want to say it's scripted. And to a degree, when, when they have all these rules and regulations, I'm sure it was scripted to a degree. I'm sure it was like, Mike, you can't do this, da da da. Jake, you can't do that. Da. That's a script. I'm sure they plan both of them. This is going the distance. That is a script. No one was going out. No one was going to sleep. There was not, not going to be a TKO. That is a script. But believe me, when you peel back all the layers, the script was only there just to solidify what we already know. When you peel back everything you saw, Tyson had zero chance to beat this man. Zero. When I can just back up for 60 seconds and you're already gassing, you can't even move because your knee is in a brace. You can't cut the ring off like you're supposed to. And this big ass goofy dude, he looking sprite. He just bouncing on his tippy toes, just out of keeping you at a distance. The fight never was going to get started. Tyson looked short. He looked stiff. He looked old. He looked uninterested and had no desire to hurt this man. He, he swung a few punches and he's biting his glove. Why are you biting your glove? That's messing up your timing. You can't get in a rhythm if you're biting, you're gnawing on your glove. How are you going to be prepared to swing at that point? And in any other fight, if someone's biting their glove, that other, that other fight is coming like bang. It was a disastrous product. If these guys really wanted to fight, Jake Paul, if he wanted to get respect from this fight, he would have got in and clutched with him. He would have stood toe-to-toe -to -toe and just stopped mashing. Bang, 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 bang. He didn't want to. He didn't want to hurt this man, and he had too much respect for him. And for him to have respect for Tyson means he cares about the sport of boxing. And if he cares about the sport of boxing, it means he wants to be taken serious in it. That's why the fight was never going to be a good fight like they tried to hype it up. They were never going to try to fight. It was, a, it was never a real fight. They wanted a glorified exposition, expedition, exhibition, but they can't say we're doing an exhibition because nobody's going to watch that. So they had to make it. They had to, oh, I'm going to kill him when I get in the ring. Oh, you want to bet? How much you want to bet? A million? I got a million. They had to hype up the fight because the bag was going to follow. The bag follows. Guess what? As soon as the bell rang, they're hugging each other, talking about how much they love each other and how much respect. That's not how fighters are supposed to go into fights or in fights. It was a joke, a debacle. We got hosed. And believe it, somebody paid every single stream that went on Netflix. That person, somebody paid for that account. So 250 million Netflix accounts were active. They made a bag, gay. Eh? They made both more than Tyson and Paul combined. So don't be going around saying, it was free. At least it was free. At least I didn't have to pay. No, you paid. Believe me, one way or another, you paid for that. It was not free. Right? It definitely was not free. Every subscription that lit up and, and they showed it, they got a bag for that. So... This was the great hoax. I am embarrassed that I thought Tyson had it. And people are like, they in my comments, oh, how would you think that? What were you thinking? Like, we all knew, but then what you watching for then? To all the people that's in my comments saying, well, you knew what it was going, well, then why'd you watch? I want that question to be answered. All the people who knew what was going to happen, I knew. Well, then what you watch for? You wanted to see a boring ass fight? You wanted to see it go eight rounds and him not and him throw 18, 18 punches? You sat there for that? You tuned in at 8.30 to wait till damn near midnight to see a fight you knew was going to suck? No, you thought it was going to be a puncher's chance. You thought at some point one of these dudes is going to swing and knock the other one out or knock him down. You thought you were going to see a real fight, so stop with that. I knew, well, I knew it was going to be all. No, you didn't because you wouldn't have watched it. I want all the people saying, well, I knew what was, you did it because you wouldn't have watched it.
So we all watched it. We all got hosed. We thought it was going to be at least competitive. It was not even a sparring. This wasn't even a spar. Tyson, I'm sure, has sparred better than this fight. And let's be honest, Tyson has had people come in with that same mindset. I'm going to step, I'm going to stay away from him. I'm going to jab, I'm going I'm to avoid him. Tyson has walked them people down in round one. Right? The tweeters and the leaders, the underachievers. Tyson has knocked them out with that strategy. I'm going to come in, just stay away from him. Let tire him out. That, that tire him out shit don't work with Mike Tyson. He's a pit bull. He just followed you around the ring. He walks you down. What happened to that guy? We know what happened. He's 58 years old, but at the same time, you can't retire from something like boxing and then come back here and there for bags. That's not how it works. I do not believe that Tyson was too old to do what he needed to do. I think he doesn't want to. And the reason he looked old because he, he gets out the game, he's done with it, and then he comes back a couple years later and he wants to try to get it back. That's not how you're going to stay in shape. 58 ain't that old like you're making it, gang. It ain't that old. George Foreman was fighting in his 60s competitively. So it's deeper than just he's old. He's old. He's old. No, it's not that he's old. It's that, yes, he's old, but he doesn't keep in shape. He doesn't want it anymore. If he wanted it, it would be a different subject, but he doesn't. All of these guys, they got knocked out when they came back because they were retired and they came back for money. Evander Holyfield, Roy Jones, all these guys come back for money. George Foreman, Joe Frazier, Muhammad Ali, they all came back for money and they should have never set foot in that ring. So I'm going to leave it at this. Mike Tyson, this is heartbreaking to watch a sad man. Like, we love Mike, right? And I'm not going to say he's sad, but him getting in that ring is sad. The last time he got in the ring was sad. The, ring, the time before that was sad. I don't know why we thought it was going to be any different. But there you have it. We watched an awful fight. I don't even know. I can't even say Jake Paul good or not. I, I can't say he fought, he fought a guy that had no business in the ring in the first place. So let me know what you think in the comment. It, and it's not just that he's old. It's not just that he's old. Don't come in the comments with, he's just old. He's old, yes. But he's old. He wasn't in shape. He was hurt two, two, three months ago. That's why he postponed it. Nothing about this fight was in his favor. He needed to fight for the bag. And that's the worst kind of fight you need to take. CLBMG, let me know what you think. I'm going to catch you on that flip side piece. Look, mission impossible to drop a few lines without yeah. dropping old times when Southern Hill was still a gold mine. When pistol grips was my shit and I sold mine. When aliens was not a show and they told mine. Elevate your mind with high quality THC infused products. BlackYeti.com. Black-Yeti.com. CLB.